Hey, what's going on guys? Another little garden update here. And, uh, it's actually pretty good. Uh, the sizzlers are coming back. I don't know if you remember, but these things looked like they were dead. And now they're flowering again ever since we gave them a little bit more room. They looked a lot better at first, but this one's got the... They were all in this pot, and they just all got suffocated it's a learning process for me and her both but I pretty much took over everything out here to get everything back to life but yeah the sizzlers are all right this one hasn't bloomed yet but we, I cut it down to three because there was like six of them and there's too many there's a lot of like construction going on so sorry about that I'll try to keep the talk a little louder over here, I planted a little bit of catnip because we got, you know, four cats, so why not? The dill's doing all right. These two, anyway, they got a little bit more room. I picked some of it, and it was pretty good. I put it on um, with the parsley. I cut all the parsley down, and now it's regrowing. It was starting to, like, turn white, and I figured I guess I would cut it off, so... There's a lot of flies hanging around, Jesus. So yeah, the parsley's coming back. I don't know how many times that'll come back, but look at all these flies in the dill. This dill's not looking so hot. I cut, this is the shit I used. I cut it off, like the same day I cut this, and this isn't coming back. I mean that, and this is coming back, and that's not, so. But yeah, everything's got way more room. I picked that ghost pepper, it wasn't even hot. So this thing is not really doing much, except getting a place for flies to land on. Sorry, my allergies are pretty bad today. I keep sniffing my nose. This is the uh, habanero. There was like four of these at first, and then it was down to two in here. And then I just kept the one because that one was starting to die too, so. And ever since I picked the other one out, this one like grew in size, doubled in size. So, like I said, again, I'm learning. <laughs> These ones are easy as fuck to take care of. They've been doing good the whole time. And the red looks really nice. I like that. This is a really, this sucks up the water. It's gonna, it's gonna bloom again in uh, the fall. And my tomatoes getting pretty big. I got a little baby. I still gotta make a video of the stuff I planted in the ground at my dad's because it's, I put those in way after I put this in and they're about four times the size. <laughs> and we got our little American flag. So here's the rest of those, uh, whatever they're called there. Uh, French marigolds. And then, well, these were doing good. These come and go, but there's some looking like there's going to come up. And I'm going to cut some of these stems out from the dead ones. There's little mushrooms that grow in here. It's fucking weird. But yeah, I'm learning a lot, and uh, it's really fun, really good hobby. Can't wait to have a, a big yard so I can put a huge garden and plant all kinds of shit. There's all my, my little equipment. I don't even use that thing. I just put it in jugs because that thing's... It's not even worth it. And I'm trying to do, like, some composting. i just been throwing, like, you know, dead leaves and stuff. But, yeah. Can't wait to see what comes off of this. And hopefully something happens with this thing. But, excuse me. Other than that, it's just another quick little update. Everything's doing all right, I guess. And more importantly, I'm having a lot of fun doing it, so. 
Yeah. I'll see y'all in the next one.